In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this. The great thing is, it's actually super easy to do this. We're going to be using CapCut, our favorite editor, to do this. The first thing that we need to do is generate our character. We're going to go to lexica.art, the link is going to be in the description, and we need to search for the style of character that we want. So I'm going to search anime character boy and let's see what this generates. You can now see we have access to hundreds of different characters that we could possibly use for our video. Once you've found the type of character that you want to use, I'm using this one with a bit more space around it and with a hoodie, just go ahead and click on it and go and download this to your computer. That's gonna save this file on your computer. The next thing we need to do is go back to Lexica Art and generate a studio. I'm gonna go ahead and search YouTube Recording Studio Anime. Now we have access again to hundreds of different studio, potential studio backgrounds. Here's a great one that we could use. This is another great one. And follow the same process once you've found one that you wanna use. Go ahead and click on it. And all you have to do is click that download button and we're done. The next thing that we want to do is visit photop.com. This is kind of like an online Photoshop. In here, we're going to remove the mouth from our subject and also remove the background of our subject so we have a clean background. All you have to do on the left here is select the spot healing brush tool. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit to my image and change the size of my brush. And now I'm going to drag over the mouth. And just like that, it's removed our mouth. Next, go to select and say remove background. This is going to remove the background of our subject, so it's just our subject. There we go. In a couple of seconds, we have our subject in PNG. Go to File, Export as, PNG, and save that to your computer. Fantastic. Now we have our subject and our background ready for us to use. In the Google Drive, I've uploaded a table, a microphone, a computer screen for you to use if you want to start creating those studio elements. Another thing you can do is search on a free picture website like FreePic, which is what I use to source these images for you. On FreePic, you can find tons of different studio elements that you'll be able to use to create your studio. Now what we need to do is import all of these elements directly into CapCut. The first thing we need to do is drag our background onto our timeline make sure that our ratio is set at 16 by 9. Sometimes the background doesn't fit the entire screen, so we need to select the background, drag it a little bit until it snaps into place. Perfect. The next thing we need to do is drag our character onto our background. You can see this is the character that doesn't have the mouth. I'm going to go ahead and drag our mouth animation onto the character and resize it and make it a little bit smaller. And then if I zoom into my video here, I can place it exactly where it needs to go. For this, I use the scale at 10%. Let me reframe it a little bit to the side. Now what I'm going to do to this as well is go to adjustment and decrease the saturation because the lips are quite saturated and uh, our character is not saturated. I'm going to go ahead and trim our mouth there. Now if I play this video, you'll see that our mouth moves quite fast. And personally, if you're someone who speaks a little bit slower, or if your voiceover is slower, you're not going to want to have a mouth that speaks so fast. All we need to do is go to speed, make this 0.6, turn on smooth slow motion and make sure optical flow is selected. What that's going to do is slow down how fast our mouth moves up and down, but also give us a very smooth mouth animation so it doesn't look artificial. From there, we can just go ahead and trim our mouth to the duration of our video. And there we can see we have the mouth moving a lot slower, but having this amazing effect of smooth motion. And now we get to build our studio. So let me go ahead and zoom back out on our video. Alternatively, click that magnifying glass and snap it back into place. What I'm going to quickly do is select the mouth and our character and create a compound clip. This is going to make them and treat them as one clip. Let's go ahead and drag our table onto the frame. And I'm going to drag my table down a little bit so that we don't see underneath. That's perfect. I'm going to go to adjustment and decrease its saturation as well. Now what I can do is drag my microphone. Now this microphone is also too big. So go back to video, change the scale and drag it into place. And lastly, I'm going to drag and import my computer screen, which I'm also going to resize and drag over to this side of the table. Again, with adjustment, I want to make sure the colors all look great and match. So I'm going to decrease its brightness a little bit and decrease its saturation. 
There we go, now we have the basis of our studio and it looks incredible. We can also change the size of our character if we wanted to. Let's say our character was a little bit too big. We can drag him a little bit smaller and place him there. Fantastic. From here we get to add some incredible effects that make this look real. What I like to do firstly is go to my effects, go to spark in the effects and drag by the fireplace directly onto our background. What this gives is our background a sense of movement and motion. Next what I like to do is drag play pendulum onto our character and onto our mouth. What this is going to do is make our character move up and down and have a little bit of motion. Drag your twist down, drag your strength way down, make your sharpen zero and make your speed at five. Now watch what happens to our character. Now it looks like our character is actually speaking and moving around. Nobody speaks, you know, without moving at all. So our character now has a bit of motion to them. On the lens tab, scroll down a little bit until you find blur. We're going to go ahead and drag this blur onto our background. Now, natively at 50, it seems like a bit much for me. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease that down. What this does is just adds a bit of separation between our character and the background. As you can see here, the background behind me isn't in focus, but I'm in focus. So we're going to try and emulate this effect. On top of everything, we can drag the effect called spectrum scanning. Once you drag it on, decrease its strength, decrease its glow, its range, and we can leave the speed at 33. Watch what happens now. Now it looks like we've created this incredible AI animation with all these effects. And what you can do as well is trim the beginning part of your character and add a glitch effect. You can find that in glitch, scroll down and find glitch. And the final step under filters, go to your filters, go to life and find one that says clear. What we're going to do is drag this over all our elements and extend that. What this does is it just adds a sense of life and realism. And I love the effect and the way it makes our footage look. Lastly, if there's anything that kind of looks out of place or looks a little bit too saturated, you can obviously click on your image, go to adjustment and change the saturation, change the brightness, change your contrast, etc. Edit your image so that all these elements look incredible. I'm going to decrease the brightness of this table a little bit because it's taking away from our character. That's looking really, really nice. And that's exactly how you can go from this to this. We've created a talking animation. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it informative, check out some of my other videos. There's lots of CapCut guides on the channel. Drop a subscribe, like this video, please, and comment any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.